boys and girls. Today we're going to do some more problem solving, but we're going to use a new math tool today. This is called a beginning, middle, and end walk mat. But before we do that, we're going to go through our problem solving process where we read a problem three times. The first time we read it, we're going to think about what is happening. As mathematicians, we think in our head about what's going on in the problem. So really try to envision what's going on. Okay, are you ready? At the zoo, Gabriella saw some penguins on a rock and some more in the water. How many penguins did Gabriella see? Are you imagining the penguins? Okay, so now we're going to look at it and think about what is happening in the story. So can you tell me what's happening? That's right. We have some penguins on a rock and we have some more in the water. So we're kind of thinking about how many penguins did she see? And we know that Gabriella is at the zoo. Okay, so next we're going to see how do our numbers fit in. So now we're going to reread the problem, looking at the numbers. And as we read it, I want you to think about what do those numbers represent? What do those numbers mean? Are you ready? At the zoo, Gabriella saw eight penguins on a rock and three more in the water. How many penguins did Gabriella see? So what does that number eight represent? That's right, it's eight penguins on a rock. And what does the number three represent? That's right, it represents three more penguins that are in the water. So we need to know how many penguins did Gabriella see? So what would be a good way to model that? I think you're right. We should use some penguins. So I have some penguins here that we can use. And now we're going to think about our beginning, middle, and end work mat. How, what is happening at the beginning of our story? That's right, Gabriella saw eight penguins on a rock. Okay, so I'm going to move eight penguins up here because that's how many she saw. Five, six, seven, eight. So I can also use words to help describe the story. So eight penguins on a rock. That's what's happening at the beginning of our story. What's happening in the middle? That's correct. She sees three more penguins. One, two, three. Where does she see them? That's right. She sees them in the water. So what's happening at the end of our story? Gabriella sees all of the penguins. She wants to know how many did she see in all. So what do we have to do? How many penguins did she see? 
here on the rock. That's right, she saw eight. How many did she see in the water? That's right. So what do we need to know at the end? She saw eight on the rock and three in the water. We need to know how many she saw in all. So how many? If I have eight and I add three more to it, let's see what we have. I have eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we saw eleven penguins in all. That was some very good problem solving. And we used our beginning, middle, and end work map to help us really think through a problem. What's happening at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Let's try one more. Okay, so we have another problem to solve. Let's use our three reads to help us really understand the problem. So remember, the first read, I want you to imagine what is happening. Sarah opened some gifts on her birthday. She went to her grandparents' house and opened some more gifts. How many gifts did Sarah open? So, what's happening in the story? Well, we know it's Sarah's birthday. And she's getting some gifts. So, it sounds like that she already opened some gifts. And then she went to her grandparents' house and opened some more gifts. We want to know how many gifts there were all together. When I'm imagining that, I've imagined times where I've been at home and gotten gifts and then been to grandparents' house and got some more gifts. Or you could have gone to aunt's or uncle's house. Okay, so now we're going to see how the numbers fit into our problem. Sarah opened nine gifts on her birthday. Remember, when I'm reading at this time, I want you to think about what those numbers represent. Sarah opened nine gifts on her birthday. She went to her grandparents' house and opened five more gifts. How many gifts did Sarah open? So what does the nine represent, the first number? That's right, that's how many gifts she got. And then she got how many more gifts? That's right, she got five more gifts. So we want to know, in all, how many gifts did Sarah open? Do you think that we could use our tools here to help us? Let's think about what's happening in the beginning of the story. Sarah opened nine gifts on her birthday. I, she's probably either at a party or at her parents' house, right? So we know that she opened nine gifts. So I could draw nine gifts or I have little presents here. How many do I put here in the beginning? That's right, I'm gonna put nine, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know that on her birthday that she opened nine gifts in the beginning. I'm going to write nine gifts. That would be fun to get that many presents, wouldn't it? What 
happened in the middle of the story? That's right. She got five more at her grandparents. Let's add five more gifts to represent the gifts at her grandparents. Five gifts at the grandparents. Very good. Okay, what's happening at the end? We want to know how many gifts were in all. So how are we going to do that? We have to think we have nine that gifts that we had first, and then we're going to add five more. Well, I'm noticing that nine is almost 10. How many more till I make 10? One more. And then I have four left, right? So I can decompose this five. So I'd have 10 and four more. So what is 10 and four more? That's right, 14. So, Sarah has 14 gifts. That's a lot of gifts, isn't it? Let's make sure. So I know I have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. See, I, I showed there were 14 gifts that Sarah had to open. Great job, boys and girls. The beginning, middle, and end work map can help us to organize our thinking, to think about what's happening at the beginning of a story, the middle of a story, and the end of the story. And we're always trying to make sure that it makes sense. Great job today.